So, this is the trials video. Yep. Wow, Alan, that looks a bit rough. Yeah, it certainly was. But don't forget, they were scenes from the Scottish Six Day Trial, which is a famous international trial. And perhaps we should start at the beginning. Trials riding was invented soon after the motorcycle was. Of course, the bikes were basically road machines and the obstacles were little more than unmade roads. The old bikes certainly look more difficult to ride. Yeah, but there's a relationship between the suitability of the bikes and the difficulty of the obstacles. Let's move to 1952, when the bikes were made for the job and the obstacles became more difficult. No water shortage in Swaledale, so number 62, S. Clark, returns like Oliver Twist for more and gets it. Leaving the river, riders faced a very slippery climb. One man somersaulted back into the river, but unfortunately our cameraman had just fallen in first. That's more like it. Weren't those the days when British bikes and, and riders were the best in the world? Yeah, that's right. But the sport didn't achieve world championship status until 1975 and this Yorkshireman became the very first world champion trials rider. Many years later, Martin is seen here coaching his son, little knowing that Dougie would go on to achieve 12 world titles. Enough of the history, let's look at trials from the point of view of a new starter who's keen to find out if this is the sport for him or her, bearing in mind that more and more females are taking up trials and the current ladies world champion is British. I wonder how many people know that. Okay, let's find a suitable location to see what faces a potential trials rider. This trials practice ground is ideal and we can use my old trials bike for demonstration purposes. How is a trials bike different from a road bike? Well, a trials bike needs low gearing for slow running and a high ground clearance to cope with rocks and other tall obstacles. It also needs knobbly tyres to find grip on slippery surfaces. What exactly is a trial? Well the purpose is to ride through marked sections without putting a foot or feet down and you lose points if you do. Who creates the sections? Usually, a few club members get together to design, say, ten sections, which will be ridden over four laps. Here we see a simple section being created. It's marked by blue flags on the left and red on the right. Each section is tested to ensure it's neither too hard nor too easy. Okay, we have a bike and a section. What now? Excuse me! Now we need an unsuspecting non-motorcyclist to be our guinea pig.
really want to do it. Seriously. After going into the pit. It's not as easy as you would think. Presumably, he would have incurred a maximum of five points. That's right, but let's look at the scoring system as he continues practicing. A dab like that costs one mark. Two dabs cost two marks. More than two, three marks. Stopping or dismounting is five, which is the max. In an actual trial, who allocates the points lost? Well, each section has an observer who watches each rider and records the score. So, how much practice would Graham need before he could compete in his first trial? Okay, let's look at an official trial designed for new starters uh, or vintage riders. That looks like a reasonable standard for new starters. Good. Shall we see how Graham's practice is going? Oh, seems better already. Oops, there's some improvement, but I think he'll need more practice. Definitely better, but not quite ready for the Scottish Six Day Trial yet. Very picturesque, but very difficult. Maybe one day Graham will get a round of applause. Well, he does seem interested. Yeah. What about you, John? Do you fancy taking up trials riding? Well, since you ask, no. Nope. <laughs> well, it must be time for a cup of tea. What you stop for? Right, everybody ready? I went the wrong way! I know. Graham, can you move? Graham? Yeah? Get out the way. It's trying to be helpful. Shut the throttle off, I said, not ready to. Like, this is the experience, really, I'm loving it. Yeah. It's proper experience, I'm loving it. Come on.